Hello and welcome. I'm inside of Unreal Engine for Fortnite UEFN, and I'm going to go through the steps to creating your own custom prop, bring it in, and then setting it up as one of the three types, wood, stone, and metal. Control spacebar, popping open the content drawer, right click anywhere, create a new folder, title it import. Grab your favorite mesh. And let's reset the default. I'm fine with all the defaults, except I know my normals are broken. Compute normals on this one and hit import all. The normals still came in broken. That's okay. We can pop into the modeling mode and quickly correct those. In the attributes, normals, fix and consistencies, accept. Now they have recently implemented a new way to create props inside of the content drawer on our imported verse V mesh. I'm gonna right click. We have here the scripted asset action. Convert to prop, metal, stone, wood. Let's do all three of them. I'm gonna make one mesh, metal, wood, and stone. Okay, so I have imported my V, I fixed the normals, and now I set up three copies of the static mesh, metal, stone, and wood, just to demonstrate each resource type. And within here, I can right click inside of the actual editor and go to scripted actor actions. Say that three times fast. <laughs> we have wood here. Okay, and we've created that custom prop, wood prop. Now let's go over to our next asset. Right click, scripted actor actions, convert to prop, stone. Next one, we have our prop V stone, metal. Right click, scripted actor actions, convert to prop, metal. Now that also replaced our static mesh actors inside of the world outliner, as well as our map. Now, one thing that I find very handy is over here in the details panel, on the right hand side, this gear icon, show only modified. We've only modified the location, nothing else. Let's open these up and see what we can do inside here. Here we go, can be damaged, yes. We wanna make sure that it can be damaged. Custom death particles would go in here. Death particle socket name as well can go on here. You can name that FX death. And now when I go back to our prop, open up the metal, and say the socket manager, I can add a socket. I'm gonna call that socket the FX death. Make sure the names match. And we will have that sort of set up in the middle here. I want it to explode from the pivot point of the V. Let's launch and see how it goes. But make sure you give your player something to use, like a pickaxe. Enable pickaxe, start with pickaxe. Pickaxe destruction, default. Let's launch. Save everything. Here we are inside of Fortnite, inside of our map. Let's try and break this V. I didn't turn on can be damaged, so nothing's happening. Likewise with the stone and the metal works perfect. Now that is annoying, ah, but let's go back and change that. Open up our stone prop and make sure we have turned on can be damaged. And our resource type is already set to stone. And if you want to have it drop or not drop resources, you can also type in resource and you can have that allow resource drop on or off. And what that means is when I'm hitting the object, whether that's dropping uh, components for building. Let's set up our death socket on this one too. We'll move our death particle up here and make sure that we are set up our death particle on our other assets, so save the wood, add it to the stone, and move that up into the pivot point. Save inside the stone blueprint, type in death, and make sure our death particle socket matches FX underscore death, save. Let's browse to this asset and open up the metal, double check that one, death, did I type it in wrong? I did, FX death, they must match. Now you'll notice they didn't match and it still had a destruction effect. So this is optional, but I do recommend setting this up. Let's type in resource, Let's say that our dropping resources and we are set to metal. Damage, can be damaged, okay. compile, save. And let's go into our last one, wood, death, parameter. You can even have custom effects if you wanna have your own custom effect inside of here, and which is very easy to build. 
That's another tutorial for another time. So now we have set up all three of our props. We're going to have to end the game to then push changes. Got this real sweaty winter skin on right now because I'm hiding in bushes to rank up quietly. Now, it's very easy to say, oh, it's taking forever in edit mode. However, the magic that's happening behind the scenes, linking UEFN to Fortnite Creative and the servers that Epic has is pretty amazing. And thank you so much for allowing us to do this. Here we go. We are ready. Game mode. We didn't have to wait that long. Let's test it out. We currently have infinite resources. That's okay. Boom. Boom. Getting the wood. Destroyed. Stone. Getting the bricks. Broken. And lastly, we already know this one works. We got all the resource types we want. And that is how you set up a creative prop that you can use uh, to harvest resources for. Or potentially not use as resources, but still destroy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.